So you know when you make small adjustments to something that you use on a very consistent basis and then you're both proud of yourself and also embarrassed that you hadn't thought of it sooner? Yeah, no, that's me right now. I have a light right here that used to be plugged in right behind me over there. So every time I need to get out to go and get something, because you know me, I'm always forgetting products. And the cord is like stretched over to its maximum level. So it's like up to my hips. And I feel like like a secret agent, like James Bond, like getting in and around the cord. And then I realized that I could just plug in the cord over here and avoid all of that. So now I have all this like extra space and like I can like move in and out as much as I want. It's great. And also, yes, it's a little bit, a little bit embarrassing. I can't be the only one that comes up with these like little things, these little like tiny adjustments that you make and you're like, wow, that made a difference. Why didn't I do that like seven years ago? Hello everyone! I am here today to share with you guys a new first impression full face and I'm going to be doing another one on the Body Shop makeup. I get a lot of requests from you guys and I had done one a couple of years ago I want to say and I was testing out a whole bunch of different Body Shop products and you know kind of giving you my first impressions on them and I thought I would sit down and kind of do like a full face testing out some new products that I have not tested before which I have all behind me and of course they're still all in their packages. I didn't think this through. And I also just painted my nails. So I thought we'd kind of like get ready for the day and talk about the products and see if I find any, you know, some new faves. Hopefully they're all fabulous, but <laughs> you never know. If you want to see more of these full face first impressions, give this video a big thumbs up so I know and leave me a comment below and let me know what brand you guys want me to test out next. I think I'm going to do H&M, but if you guys have any other preferences or ones that you guys want to see, let me know. And without further ado, Let's get into this. All right, so we are zoomed in. I have a little bit of tape on the outside of my eyes because I'm going to start with my eye look. And we are going to start with the um, all-in-one tinted concealer and primer. This is supposed to work for concealing under eye circles as well as acting as a base for your eyeshadows. Whoa, that is yellow. A lot thicker than I was thinking it was gonna be too. <laughs> it kind of looks like a little baby caterpillar. I'm just gonna smoosh that together and apply it to my lids. It blends out to be a lot smoother than it does um, in the little container, so that's good. I see a tiny little bit of a yellow tint, but not much, so I'm not really sure how this is going to act as a concealer. Now for the eyeshadows, I'm going to be using the Down to Earth Eye Palette. Apparently it has smooth mattes, glossy satins, and glimmering sparkles that you can wear dry or wet for more intense payoff. Love that. I really enjoy when you can use an eyeshadow wet because it makes such a difference in how uh, crazy dramatic the eye look will be. So this is what the palette looks like. The shadows are actually quite big. They're like as big as my eye. That's impressive. And it looks like without actually swatching that we have three mattes, four shimmery shades, and one sparkly shade. So that's a pretty good balance in my opinion. Let's try this shimmery color. That's kind of pretty. Not as pigmented as I was anticipating it to be. Maybe it'll look different when I actually put some like water on it. There's also a black shade, which is a matte black. Whoa! I hope it goes on the skin like that. That is pretty pigmented. Not bad, Body Shop, not bad. They feel very smooth when I'm swatching them. They're not dusty in any way, which is nice. All right, I'm gonna use a little Fix Plus on my fingers and I'm gonna swatch them wet. That was a lot, that was a lot of Fix Plus, Rachel. Just shake that out a bit. So these are the shimmery shades that are swatched while wet. So they got a nice little bit of a hint of glimmer to them. They're not too over the top. They still feel really nice and smooth when I'm swatching them and applying them, and they do apply a lot more pigmented, which is nice. So I'm gonna start with this lightest shade, and I'm just gonna dust that all over to set the eye area. Now I'm gonna go in with that nice taupey shade, and I'm going to apply that just to the uh, crease. And I'm also gonna apply it along the outer corner to create a really soft wing. Now I'm gonna take this little bit of a shimmery shade and I'm going to see how that looks kind of smudged along the lash line. I have a uh, liner as well, which I'm going to use to kind of smoke it out further. Um, but we'll start We'll start with that one and see what that looks like. It's not as pigmented as I wanted. All right, well, let's just dampen the brush then. Hashtag problem solver. And then I'm going to take that lightest shade again and I'm gonna try and apply that as like an inner corner highlight a little bit and see if that works. Yeah, no. Nada enchilada. So that is something that is missing from this palette is a good highlight shade. I really like the crease color though. That's a nice cool toned crease color, which isn't, I, I find I don't see that often in palettes. Um, and the shimmer colors are beautiful. They're rich, they're buttery. They're not as pigmented as I would like. But that matte black though was a lot more pigmented than I was anticipating. So I may use that on like the tight line to kind of, you know, make the whole lashes look a lot more voluminous. I don't know. I don't know 
try it. Now I'm going to try this smoky two-in-one gel liner for eyes and brows. And I will say, obviously, by the shade, it's not, not for my brows. But apparently it can be used for both. And it does come with a little brush sort of similar to the Benefit Cosmetics one um, in the uh, lid. But this is a very different, I don't know how you would use this how would you use this for your brows? Can someone explain this to me? It is very, very rounded. But since it comes with the package, I might as well test it out. So I'm going to use it along the lash line um, and just see if it's as nice and smoky and gel-like as it says it is. So it comes potted like this and it looks like a black brown or maybe black. Let's see, let's, let's test this. That's hard to tell. Is that black or is that a really, really, really dark brown? The consistency of it is very nice. It's not too soft. I have ones from the drugstore that are very soft and I find like you have to be very careful with a brush when you're dipping it in. But this one I find is really nice and smooth. It's allowing me to build the coverage to what I feel comfortable with without kind of like piling it all on right from the get-go. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit here on the outside edge and I'm just gonna see what happens if I try and smoke it out a little bit. Okay, so it's smoking out actually quite nicely. Um, it's not clinging onto my eyeshadow weird. It's not clumping up weird. This brush is not my favorite, but it's not bad either considering. Um, it does apply the product well, but it's not going to do a really good job if you want a nice winged look or something like that, and I can't imagine how that's gonna work for the brows, but the product itself is nice. So I'm feeling like the area along my lash line is a little bit sparse, so I'm going to take a damp little brush and I'm going to dip it into that matte black and apply that to the tight line to kind of make that whole area a little bit more full looking. So I applied that to my tight line and I blinked and it immediately transferred to my lower lash line. Now, albeit it is not supposed to be used on the tight line, but whoa, that was fast. I'm just gonna clean that up. Okay, so now that I've removed the tape and wiped off any excess fallout under my eyes as well as curled my lashes, we're gonna go into mascara and today I'm gonna be testing out their Super Volume Mascara because I like Super Volume. I'm into that. Whoa, that is a weird looking brush. Hold on, you guys need to see this. You guys see this brush? It's got like the craziest little bristles I've ever seen. It's almost like it's striped, so there's bristles, no bristles, bristles, no bristles, bristles, no bristles, all the way along. Interesting. All right, let's see what's up with this. So in terms of first impression of the formula, it is more on the dry side than a very wet formula. So I feel like it's a better formula for those of you that are maybe new to mascara or want to be able to um, have something that's a little bit easier to wield and work with and manipulate. It's just not gonna deposit as much mascara in the first go, which makes it a little bit easier to work with. So for that reason, I do like it. I wouldn't say it's super volume, but like it's nice. <laughs> like to me, this is more like an everyday kind of mascara, but you guys know. I like big voluminous lashes. But that's not bad for like one coat. So I'm gonna add another coat to both. Whoa! <laughs> Mascara on my carpet. Awesome. It's fine. That comes out, right? So I'm gonna add another coat of mascara So I have two coats on both eyes and we'll just see how it ends up wearing throughout the day If my lashes hold their curl or is it gonna start flaking? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I hate when I get mascara on my lid So I let the mascara dry on my lid so I can actually you know remove it properly without smearing all over the place I'm gonna go in with my brows and I'm going to be using the three-in-one brow definer pencil three-in-one What's the third one? Eyebrow pencil brush and highlighter in one Brush that's that's really gonna be the third use it has like a little brush on the lid in case anyone is wondering So I have two shades here cuz I'm not sure what shade I am I have one in medium brown and one in light brown So we will see what color I am also I have to show you guys this my mom bought this for me because she watches my videos And she knows how much I struggle with getting all of the packaging off of my my makeup So this is supposed to help the whole process and make it a lot easier and not ruin my nails Oh, that's so much better. Where has this been my whole life? All right, what shade am I? I'm gonna go with the light brown, but it's a little bit light for my brows and a little bit too warm toned And how about the highlight shade? Very shimmery, but like pigmented so that's good. Although I probably won't use something so shimmery under the brows. I'm probably gonna use that on like the inner corner and the waterline. Oh, I don't like that brush at all. This is a very, very uh, flexible brush. And so it doesn't seem to want to push the hairs to where I want it to go very easily. The formula is nice in that it's more on the creamy side. I don't like when um, brow pencils are too hard and you're really trying to like work the product in. The color match is not a great one and there were only three shades available. So 
All right, I take back what I said about this eyebrow pencil. I don't like it. It is way too creamy. I do like something that's a little bit more creamy, but this is just, it's clumping up. It's the pencil's breaking off. It's a much thicker pencil than I am used to as well. I like the little micro pencils a lot better to get a more precise um, tip to the brow tip. Is that what you call it? And also the color selection isn't great and it's a little bit too warm for my particular shade. So overall, this is probably my least favorite of all the products I've tried so far. But now that the eye look is almost basically done, I'm going to go on to the rest of the face. And of course, Luke takes this opportunity to go into a nice nap. So first to prime my face, I was going to use one of the two Insta Glow CC creams, which you can use as sort of a primer. So the first one I swatched in my hand is the one for light skin, which is supposed to reduce sallowness and brighten the complexion. Has a little bit of a pinky undertone, a nice glow to it. But then just because I had it on hand, I wanted to also swatch the one for light to medium skin, which is supposed to counteract dullness, awaken tired looking complexions. And I ended up wanting to go with the one for light skin, the bright glow. And I really liked how it looked on the skin. It gave a very natural looking glow overall. It does have a little bit more of a creamy like texture obviously because it is a CC cream but it's supposed to moisturize, color correct, illuminate, minimize the appearance of pores and reduces shine. So I really like this product and then I went into the eye area and I wanted to use the all-in-one tinted concealer and primer that I used before and again when I was like trying to get it out onto my hand it was like all it looked like little caterpillars. I don't know it was I, I thought maybe it was the beginning part of the product and then it would become smooth after that so I started to like squeeze a little bit more out and it was just so clumpy and granular at first until you like have to you have to blend it out and then it's still kind of lumpy I don't know maybe it's just the one I got and it's not actually like this so then I decided to go in with their lightning touch concealer which is supposed to, this is in um, the shade 01 which is supposed to be a light diffusing concealer to brighten your under eye, minimize the appearance of dark circles and fine lines. So you can see when I'm trying to get the product out, all of a sudden all this like liquid like squirts out at me. And I don't know if it's the serum in it or it's water or something, but like the mixture, like it wasn't mixed together. So when I was like trying to like get all the product out, First, it was like all over the place. I was like, that was weird, but it was probably just the beginning of the product. And then I put some under my eye and then it like sprayed out at me again. So that was fun. It comes in two different shades or three different shades, sorry. So I have the lightest one here and applying it under the eyes, you can see it's, it's clearly sort of a peachy tone. Like I can see it as a color corrector, but definitely not as a concealer, especially considering that this is the lightest one. I was a little bit disappointed in that and I don't really see any illuminating properties to it. So I went in with my NARS concealer because I, I needed some form of concealer on my face. After that, I went in with foundation and I decided to use the Fresh Nude Cushion Foundation. And I had do two different shades. I had the shade 01 and 02. There are five different shades, so not a lot of options. So the whole thing around this one is it's packed full of skincare ingredients. It's portable. It has buildable semi-matte coverage. Um, and supposed to keep you shine free, but also with 24 hours of fresh moisture. So in applying it, it definitely was buildable. You could get some really nice coverage with this. My one thing about it is that I was sort of in between the shade 01 and 02. So I ended up mixing the two. I felt like 01 was just a little bit too pale and yellow and then 02 was too orange but mixing them together made a nice blend for my skin tone. So that was a little bit annoying, but the coverage in the actual product itself was very nice. I do, I tend to really like cushion foundations and their coverage and the way the product sits on the skin. I do think though, if you have oily skin, I, I don't know, when I was putting it on, it was, it was very evident to me that there was product on my skin. Like I could feel it, it, it felt a little bit more on the moisture heavy side that could have been also the CC cream, but I was just very aware of having a lot of stuff on my face. And once I had done that, I decided to go in with my powder. And the powder I have here is the all-in-one face base powder foundation um, because they didn't seem to have any setting powder. So I thought this would be a good option, but it's supposed to be a foundation and powder in one little compact, matte finish, velvety feel. It has like a sponge and a mirror. It comes in 10 different shades. The shade that I ended up using is 03 and I felt that that was a good match for my skin. Really like the coverage. I like the fact that it was being applied with a sponge. I don't know what it was, but it felt like it was just sort of pressing it into the skin. It wasn't going to be as cakey that way. And I, I don't know, I, I don't normally go for 
um, powder foundations, but for whatever reason, this one really worked with the overall look and it smoothed everything out. It did make it very, very matte though. Um, so that was not as much, that's, I'm not a huge fan of like super, super matte looks, but yeah, overall, I really liked this product and we'll see how it wears throughout the day and if it keeps everything sort of in place and intact, but so far, so good. Next, I went in with their brush on bronzer, which has these little like bronzing beads in it to give you this very nice bronzy look. And so I was originally using my big Kabuki brush, except that it was clearly too stiff because the beads start like flying out of the package and then one got stuck in my brush. I tried to use the big kabuki brush anyway. It was just, it was too much product. It was way too orange when I was applying it that way. And I had to sort of like touch it up with some of the powder foundation. Um, to kind of tone it down a bit. So then I went in with a much more flexible brush and I had a lot better results with that. I will say I feel like it's still a little bit too orange for my skin tone. Then instead of going in with blush, I kind of wanted to figure out what um, lip color I wanted to do first. So I wanted to try out some of their matte liquid lipsticks. So I had three that I wanted to try out. One, the first one was the Tokyo Lotus and you could see I was pretty excited about the color and the application. It was very pigmented and the formulation is very much like a melted down lipstick. The next one was Sydney Am Amaralis, Amaral Amaralis. I think these are flowers. I don't know how to pronounce them. This one was nice. I liked that it was a bit more of a springy toned red. I think that was really nice. It was a little bit streaky when I first started to apply it, but it sort of smoothed out and it was really pretty. And then the last one is Paris Peony, which is more of a warmer toned fuchsia. So I decided to pick the Tokyo Lotus, which of course, Classic Rachel. The application of this was so ridiculously creamy, very, very pigmented, and I loved this color. Um, I think it was it was a little bit creamier than I was anticipating, so I had to kind of go back over it, um, sort of in the cre in the creases and whatever, to kind of touch them up because I'm so used to like liquid lipsticks that dry like instantly. So this one I just wasn't prepared, but um, overall I think it's a, a beautiful formula. I was pleasantly surprised about these, and they smell amazing, guys. I really like the scent. I don't know what's in this, but it smells really, really good. I like it. So after that, I went in with the blush, and I chose the all-in-one cheek color in the shade Marshmallow, which is a really pretty, just a very nice light pink shade. It applied really beautifully. The color was very nice and worked well with the lip color. And yeah, overall, really, really nice blush. For the highlight, I had Brush On Radiance, which again has those little like highlighter beads in there. So I brushed it on my face and it's really pretty, guys. With one coat, it's like a nice, like nice level glow. And then two coats, it's just, it's really pretty. And I like that there are all these different tones of highlight in them. It just, it makes your skin look super glowy. And oh my goodness, I really like the highlight. So now we are here with the final product. And I thought this was really fun. This is a very interesting experience. There are products I didn't so much like. There are products that I really love and I'm excited about. And so I thought we would kind of chat about the, the best and the worst of the products that I tried today. So do I want to start or end on a bad note? No, I want to start on a bad note. We're going to start off with the bad products. So first is the eyebrow product, the three-in-one eyebrow product. I love that it's three because it has this little brush on it. <laughs> it's really funny. First of all, the color match just wasn't a great fit for me. Um, that was just because my brows are very much on the ashy tone. Uh, that's very common. I don't find a lot of eyebrow colors that work for me. Um, but I found that the formula, while I like a creamy eyebrow pencil, this was just too creamy. It was crumbling all over the place. The brush itself wasn't great. I, it was just too flexible. I couldn't get any sort of, um, it didn't really brush through the brows at all. And the highlight shade, I wouldn't really use this under the brows. I tried to use it in the inner corner of the eye, um, but it, it just, it, it showed up a little bit. It was okay. It didn't show up at all on the waterline. I tried that. that did not work. So yeah, I mean, this was not a good product for me and I would just call it a big miss. Another product I didn't so much like is the all-in-one tinted concealer and primer. I don't know if maybe I just got a bad one. Um, just the consistency is just so weird and it was 
that mixture of crumbly and very creamy and not blendable and super yellow. I don't really know what this is supposed to be good for. And lastly is probably the other under eye product I tried, which was the Lightning Touch Wand. I was just, I was kind of thrown off with the color. It was very much a color correcting stick and it didn't say that at all on the website. Um, it was sort of um, marketed as more of a concealer and highlighting sort of a duo. And the fact that the product itself didn't seem to be mixed um, beforehand and it was kind of squirting out all over the place. I just didn't have a good first impression from the use of this product. I can see some benefit of using it as a color corrector, I guess, because it has more of that peachy undertone to it so it can cancel out any of the blue tones. But yeah, not, not so much as a concealer. And now onto the products that I did really like, one being the Brush On Glow, these little beads. Really like these. These are really fun. I think the, the glow that it gives is gorgeous. You get tons in here, which is nice. The only thing, the only downside really is that you have to be really careful so that the beads don't go flying out everywhere. That's the only thing. Um, but the colors are really beautiful. I like that there are multiple different types of tones in here. It gives you a very natural, but very over the top glamorous highlight. And I really like it. The other product that I liked was the Smoky two-in-one gel liner. It went on really smoothly. You could choose how much product you wanted to put onto the eye. It wasn't like too much all at once. You could build it and there was nice pigmentation. It was a nice, really dark, creamy, chocolate brown, almost black, I feel like when I was applying it to my eyes. And it's it blended out into a nice smoky look on my eyes very easily and I didn't have to do a lot to get there. The only thing I didn't like was the brush. I feel like if this was an angle brush, I would like it a lot more because then you could use it to create an actual like cat eye or you could use it for your brows if you have darker hair, darker brows. Um, that would work really well. I didn't, so I didn't love that, but the fact that there is a brush is nice and the brush does work for the purposes of applying it to the eyes. And um, yeah, really, really like this. And lastly are the Instaglow CC creams. These are beautiful. I loved how these looked on the skin and gave your skin this just really nice radiant glow. Um, I love that there are a lot of different um, benefits in it, different creams and things that like the things that Body Shop is they're kind of known for and it has this nice brightening effect to the skin so I will definitely be using this again I'll test it throughout the day to see if it's going to actually reduce shine as well um, but I really liked all of the benefits in it I liked how it felt on the face I love the consistency I'm gonna play around with this one as well but this one felt a little bit more um, bronzy you know that wasn't the full look I was going for today um, but this one on the face looked beautiful I really liked it now I'm going to go about my day and I will check in with you guys at the end of the day Okay guys, so it is the end of the day. I wanted to do a little wrap up of what my makeup is now currently looking like. And you know what? It's still like pretty much in place. Like under the eyes is looking a little bit creasy and like it's settling a little bit. I think the powder foundation was like a little bit too heavy for under that area. Um, but my eye makeup still looks really good. My wing liner is still on point. I can still see my um, my highlight. I don't know if it's picking up on camera at all, but it's looking great in person. The bronzer was way too orange. Like it started to just like settle along my hairline, which is super attractive. Um, so didn't really so much like that. And then the lip color started to wear off um, just after the first meal that I ate um, post putting it on. So. I mean, it's not super long wearing, but I don't think it's supposed to be. But everything else seems to look really good and pretty much in place. So my my previous um, favorites and least favorites are still standing. I will be probably using all the products again and a couple of them are probably gonna end up in a favorites, let's be honest. But yeah, my makeup still looks pretty good. And uh, now, now I'm gonna go and wash it off and I'm gonna go to bed. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you wanna see more of these full face trying on a particular brand of makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave me a comment below and let me know what your favorite product is that you've ever purchased from The Body Shop, whether it's, I don't know, a makeup product or a skincare product or anything like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And for the springtime, I'm also gonna be doing a first impression Friday video every Friday. Friday, so don't miss that as well. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I will see you all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.